Dogs can be trained to sniff out all kinds of stuff. Drugs, bombs, people. Now bumblebees. At least one dog can do it. Nine News Photo Journalist Brian Wenland met up with a bumblebee researcher and her very good boy as they went looking for nests in the mountains near Fairplay. Cool. You ready, bud? Colorado's mountains are home to some pretty important pollinators. Bumblebees are worth billions of dollars to the U.S. economy every year. But it's hard to conserve those fat little furry flyers. That is one of the queens. Oh, she's beautiful. Check her out. Because we don't know a whole lot about bumblebee nesting. So finding the nest is really freaking hard. And that's why I've got Darwin. I tried lots of other ways to do it before. And, um... Dogs just seem to be the best bet right now. That's where Darwin and Jacqueline Staub come in. I'm a bee researcher and I'm currently doing research with Appalachian State University. And this is my dog, America's first conservation detection dog that specializes in finding bumblebee nests, Darwin the bee dog. Darwin has trained for this since he was six months old. Come on, search. He works his way around willows, sniffing for bees. Watching Darwin work is just a beautiful thing, honestly. When he finds a nest, Stab's work begins. But yeah, so the nest is right over here. She collects species data, notes how well drained the soil is, measures the slope, and checks how far away it is from a linear feature like the edge of a forest. The more we know about bumblebee nesting, the better we'll be able to preserve and conserve the species. Stab says that conservation is crucial right now. Obviously, there's going to be cascading ecological effects if we lose keystone pollinators in any environment much less the alpine. As tough as this work is, Stab says they aren't quitting. They're just such a challenge, um, but Darwin is not afraid of a challenge, so he's ready to go, and we're going to find them all. <laughs> For next, I'm Brian Wendland. Things that you did not know were a thing are some of my favorite kind of next stories. Thanks to Brian Wendland for that one. Stop starting a nonprofit to raise money to fund bumblebee research and to train more bee dogs. Before anybody gets all worked up that Darwin's off leash, she gets permission from whoever owns or manages that land for him to work unleashed.